there's Carrie Decker arriving at the Glasser House. How about that? Hey, how you doing? Mr. Decker is here in Cleveland. I made it. At the home of the Revo. 1222 Bellrose. Welcome to Cleveland, son. Good to see you. Good, good, to, good see to have you. you here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, here we are in Clevetown. Ray Glasser, along with my counterpart. Yes, I'm here. Carrie Decker has arrived, <laughs> wearing twin, twin Florida Holy, shirts. <laughs> what a coincidence! <laughs> really, I know it. And uh, this is what about maybe 1:30 in the afternoon on Saturday, the 26th of August of 1989. And Carrie's been here a little while, and uh, so far we've had a pretty full Saturday since about 10 o'clock this morning. Right. Right. After so many few hours of sleep and everything, we yeah. got together and chatted a little bit last night. Now, uh, let's see, we did some dubbing this morning already right. and pulling in and checking we'll out, seeing Corky and Lenny's, Corky and Lenny's for breakfast. brunch. Right, brunch. <laughs> right. And um, we got some more work to do yet today. And, and of course, the thing I want to do here is, of course, give a, uh, a video tour to those back home of right. Ray's video room, which That's is... Right. Have to do that by all means. Which is extensive. Which you've seen on tape for so many years, and now you see it in person. That's right. Yeah. So uh, it's nice up here. It is. It is warm, but not hot. It's. Right. It's amazing. It's. It's. I don't know. 10, 15, 20 degrees cooler. I'd say. Yeah, ten or twenty degrees cooler. Geez, I'm hot out here now. All of a sudden, yeah, but right the but there's like no humidity. It's there's nice a cool breeze. breeze. Yeah. Just right. <laughs> Just right. So right. I really am enjoying this, and uh, everything. So probably guys are saying. There is two weird guys. I always <laughs> wondered about Ray, and now <laughs> that's right. He doesn't even know me. Either. It, maybe know it's his knows. weird brother has arrived or that's something. Right. But anyway, so the car made it with no problem. We're here, and um, oh, it's great. I'm really looking forward to the next few days, and yeah. and on the tape here, of course, we'll get together and show everybody and everything. So right, Ray, I want to see the video room. Let's go to the video room. Let's go and see it at long last on this camera and in person the Ray Glasser video room. Here right. we go. Here we go. And there's Mr. Kerry yes. Decker in the Revo video room. That's right. How are we doing? Pretty good. A little cooler in here, isn't it? Ah, yes it is, that's for sure. Welcome to my literal home. That's right, that's this right. Is, this is where I live. Let me get a shot of these tapes here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, now we're not really looking at all of the tapes. I mean, there are others. How, how many have you got in the collection now? Um, about 11, wait, about 1160. 1160 tapes that are numbered yeah There's about more. that I guess these are uh, this uh, is Mickey's Japanese, Japanese collection. collection all these which are all don't forget up there I have like 80 more of just Star Trek the original TV series which are up there I seem to have lost a remote, a remote control somewhere oh I've got it you do yeah I have it hmm. so just kind of giving you an idea because they're, they're all over. Literally, all over. That's right. <coughs> and so on. Yeah, this, this kind of gives maybe a, a little different perspective of what's going on. We got all the tapes. When we do the video show letters. The VCRs there, show all the beta mixes. Oh yeah. Showing that uh, this is kind of from the back corner over here. Here's the sofa. In fact, why don't you sit there for a second and I'll put on a very familiar scene of you at the sofa as if you were making a video letter, which I done in you've a long done. Time, right? This is what this we're is used to. Sit. You move in close and all that type of stuff, and that's how we've done that. That's right. And then, of course, just to the sides are all the video machines. Why don't we briefly go over what you've got? I mean, we know detailed sure. what why each not? machine is, but even okay. starting with a reel-to-reel -reel Okay, why don't you, you want to get a close-up or you want to back well, up? I'm in close. Okay, this is a 1973 TAC reel-to-reel, a 3300. Uh, takes a big 10.5-inch reel, looks very impressive. But holding up like a tank in all, all the years I've had it, great machine. Underneath it is my really my newest piece of audio gear. This is a Techniques cassette deck. Has the Dolby and metal positions, all that, which I use once in a while. And down here is a nice high-tech JVC receiver 
with AM and FM, and it's got a built-in equalizer with different positions and all that. Um, a flow chart, believe it or not, of what's going in the where, and it's got the different presets on FM and all that AM, 16 or 18 presets, real nice. Okay. Down here is a Thorin's turntable, which I use about once a year if I'm lucky. Okay, what's I mean, this little, little box? Oh, I'm sorry. This is a little thing that Art Vol introduced me to. It's another Radio Shack product. <laughs> Where else do I get things from? This you plug into an auxiliary input, and it gives you three more inputs. And I use like one for my TAC deck, one for the cassette deck, and one for any of the VCRs that I can interwire into this JVC oh, receiver. So it, it takes one input and makes three out of it. I got gotcha. you. Huh, and you can interdub between one between any one of the three sources. Hmm. $29. Uh, not for the VCRs. This is my old Quasar. It's like a 1983 machine. And they're like a Curtis Mathis, a Montgomery Ward, Panasonic, Quasar. All had the exact same machine. Three speed. Records and plays back all three VHS speeds. Good machine. But holding up over all the years I've been using it really good. Below it is my ultra high tech super VHS Toshiba hi-fi machine. With all the digital special effects and a real time counter, hours, minutes, seconds. Super VHS picture quality, hi-fi stereo, all the bells and whistles. Got it for under a thousand dollars only a year ago, believe it or not. Okay, that's the two VHS machines. The rest are all beta. This is my Japanese SLHF 900, which at the time was the only VCR in the world in beta to have all three recording speeds, beta 1S, beta 2, and beta 3. The only one of its kind in 1985. That's why I bought this thing. It's got a lot of hours on it, a lot of use, but it holds up like a tank. So it has the original video head. Down here, you might want to even use the one Lux for this if you have to. Yeah. Is the Model T, the SL, I was going to say HF, because they're all HF. The SL7200. This was like the first home beta. This is the one I bought in 1976, almost 14 years ago. X1 only records and plays back a maximum of like one hour and, 90, and, one hour and 30 minutes on an L750 tape. It's on its fourth video head, and now it sits and just gathers dust. <laughs> I just don't use it. Yeah. On the right hand side of the video rack, this is the American SLHF 900, which has just recently been modified to record and play back Beta 1 Super Beta, which it normally does not handle. It only costs 150 bucks for that. So this, all, this now also handles all three beta speeds, Beta 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Down here is my newest beta, which is probably the last one I'm ever going to buy. This is the ED Beta, extended definition. Just the phone cord, the phone wire, um, which has like 500 lines of resolution, and it really is a nice machine. This is the lower end of the two ED Beta models. Takes special metal tape, which looks like this. Gotcha. Real the nicest cassettes I've yes. ever seen. Twenty-five dollars for an L500. Yes. They, they don't make L750s in this. Oh, yet. they really don't, huh? No. And all 500 is the longest they have, okay? So that's my ED beta. Below that is my RS switcher. When I used to use a regular TV set with my video gear, this was how I switched back and forth between five machines into four TVs. And with adding these three AB switches, I now have a maximum of eight machines going into any one of four TVs throughout the house. Two down here, one upstairs, and one in the attic. So this is the RS switcher for actually for eight VCRs. And down here is my pride and joy, the SLHF 1000. <laughs> Show all the doors. Which is like the, the Cadillac or the Rolls Royce of all the betas. It's got a built in character generator and built in editing functions, two flying erase heads, eight event, three week machine, and has probably more features than any other beta that I've ever seen. They don't make them anymore. This is the remote control for this sucker with like 63 buttons on it, and they even duplicate the jog wheel on here, which is also on the machine. Yep. So this is the Cadillac. This is my own personal pride and joy. I, I use this machine every day of the week. I use this thing seven days a week. Okay, what you're looking at now is really my first video antique. This is really it. This is the first Betamax, which really began the home video revolution way back in the fall of 1975. It's got a built-in 19-inch Sony Trinitron TV, not a monitor, but a TV. It's got a one-hour Betamax under this nice smoke plastic cover, and this thing does work. It's a one-hour beta a machine. A primitive machine that's like in there. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, well, this thing can come out the back. It does slide out if you want to slide it out. 
The only feature it has is a zero zero memory. <laughs> that's it. And a pause button. And a pause button, which does not lock, by the way. No, that's right. It does not lock. And then there's what the clock timers. And yeah. And Boy, those buttons are enormous yeah. compared to what we're used to oh, today. Sure. These are the funny thing is on this thing. On this is very unique. This has got two tuners. This is a tuner to watch TV on, and in here, if you want to record a different channel, this tuner is what the Betamax is going to record. Oh. So you can like watch channel five here while you're recording channel eight up here on the Betamax. And if you want to see channel eight here, you push this monitor button, which is supposed to light up, and channel eight will come out here momentarily. And of course, here's the old AFT, which you are supposed to have on. So that's why this is, they actually call this auxiliary tuner controls over so, here. Then if you have a video camera, you have a switch here yeah. to record from TV or a video camera. This is the VTR power and the timer. Here's your clock, the old leaf clock, which can be set up to 24 hours in advance. And over here are your standard TV controls for brightness, color, tint, vertical hold, and all that. And down here... Now there's something I noticed here. What's that? You have got... I'm sorry. Two tuners, one that you can record a different channel right. than you're watching, and right. a clock that records 24 hours. What, what more could you want on a video machine, <laughs> man? Right. I mean, you can actually watch something different than it's taping. Absolutely. And what else, you can what do else it would at midnight. You want? Jeez. And down here, which I can never open this thing up. This is. I feel like Betty Furness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel like Betty Furness. There we go. I believe she had to use a screwdriver That's, on a couple no, of no, doors there. For it. Um, that's a little door to store your tapes in. Oh. Of course, we're, all I hey. have in here right now is the original owner's manual. 12, 15 it. tapes. What more would you want what there? What need? I mean, why have more than 12 <laughs> tapes? All right. But as you can see, if you get an overall shot of the whole thing, it's a great looking piece of furniture, <laughs> if nothing else. And for 1975, that wasn't bad. The original list, list price of this thing, by the way, was $2,395. Mm. And that's because I, that's why I didn't get that. I couldn't afford it. I picked this up for 350 three years ago. Jeez. From a guy that works as a disc jockey in Cleveland. Hmm. Moved back here. And I'm real happy with it. I never use this thing. I mean, but I use this as like a monitor or a secondary or a preview monitor or whatever you call it, a secondary TV set. Still. This is... But that's it. It needs a picture tube. It's, this one's shot. It's all green. Hmm. But, uh, hey. And then, here of it course, is. now we've got the new monitor. And this you haven't seen yet, by the way. This is a. What that isn't. This is a high resolution Sony monitor. This Dr. is uh Payne, administrator of the space agency, wait, let me then met stay with on Abernathy it. yesterday. And told This is made for Super VHS and E D beta. Great footage you're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> but anyway, um this has got five hundred lines of resolution, which will easily accept Super VHS and E D beta both. I want you to bring in the camera a little bit closer, Carrie. I want to show you something that you haven't seen yet. Now, you see this button that says Control? Okay. okay. Zoom out so you can get this whole side here. When you push the Control button here, you ready? You have all your functions lit up. Yep. Both here and over here on this side. This is where you have your hue, your color, brightness, sharpness. Even treble and bass and balance because it's got a built-in 20 watt amplifier. The reset will take you back to Sony's factory specs, what oh, they think the okay. picture should look like. That's neat. Okay. When you push the control button off, they all disappear. For viewing. So right. Not distracted. That's it. Great. Okay. What else you want to show? Anything? Uh, let me see here. You showed everything here. Uh, we'll sit down on the couch here in a moment. Oh, you made a couple of your videotapes from over here. Yeah, I have From the, the desk, which is neat. And of course, you have your audio collection. Yeah, this is right. This is something out of my past. This is my audio tapes, ten and a half inch reels. These things I began in 1963, and I, after 26 years, I have 261 tapes. <laughs> I began the video collection in 1976 with over 1,100 tapes, and those tapes began at 16 bucks. These began at about two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> now you tell me which hobby took hold of my life. It wasn't this one. <laughs> no. It wasn't this one at all. I'm at my desk, which is always a mess. But come on over this side, Cherry. I want to show you what's hanging on the wall here next to me. Do you want to go okay. back a decade? This is Ray and Carrie in 1979, I think, early October. 
when I visited you in Orlando with Mickey. That was like our first trip together. Where was that taken? Uh, I believe that was at uh, one of the shopping malls. I'm trying to think, I Altamont think so. Mall or something like that. Yeah. And this notice is the Fuji video cassette. Yes. Set Making in some kind of a bad deal there. Yeah, right. This, of course, is an Apollo 11 insignia I got from you. And this is a year and a half ago at Disney World, Epcot. What kind of a shirt have I got on there? It's a horrid gosh. looking shirt. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing something like that. This is 1970 at a radio lab at Ohio State. This is my high school graduation picture. Yeah. There you go. And it's sort of garbage on the walls. My can and bottle collection for what it's The oldest worth. Pepsi bottle. Yeah, you might want to get a zoom of that. I got it. The original Pepsi, it says sparkling on it. <laughs> and that's it. This is Revo in his natural state, in his natural environment. With Kerry Decker shooting me, I still can't believe this man is here in my house <laughs> in Cleveland. We are still in the Ray Glasser video room. Kerry, why don't you come over and we'll do a little talk together on camera with our wild shirts. Yes. And tell what's been going on here. That's right. Well, it's uh, what time? About 2.33 in the afternoon, still on the 26th of August. So, uh, it's a Saturday afternoon. Nice day in Cleveland, not too hot. Beautiful. And down here, it's even more beautiful. Oh, man, it's great. I love it. Uh, the cool breeze, as I was talking outside, they're just great. Right. So, so far, we've done that. You got in last night, about 5 o'clock. Right. Well, why don't you go ahead and just recap it since it was your evening. Oh. I, I worked. Oh, that's right, you worked. Yeah. Got here at, uh, as I said, it was around 4.30 when I actually got the edge of Cleveland, but it was around 5 or so, and decided to go see Ray directly at uh, Corky and Lenny's rather than coming here first because uh, he wanted right, to deliver on. a tape, so I said, okay, we're going to deliver a tape right in person. So found it without any problem. Uh, you had previously made me the video... Uh, a uh, short video of uh, going to the house and everything, which helped tremendously. It yeah. was it was funny. It was like deja vu, but yet I've never been here. It right. was strange. Crazy. And uh, so we made the turn, went down to Corky and Lenny's, found you without any problem whatsoever, yeah. and walked right in, gave you the tape, and being earlier than I had anticipated. By about seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a little more of a surprise than I was, was what I was trying to do. So let's see. So uh, stay there. All right. And then chat for just a couple minutes and then right. came back to the house here. Unpacked. That's right, unpacked. Uh, uh, no get, sooner got here I than Mr. Herman. <laughs> right, I, I walk Gary in, call. it's for you, was the first phone call, you know. And it was Gary, so uh, Gary uh, came over within the hour. I think yeah. I got basically got unpacked and sat down for a minute, and then uh, and then uh, Gary, Gary showed up. And then uh, Gary wanted to go back to Corky and Lenny's to have a little bite to eat, which we bet you for, uh, for dinner. For dinner. Right. And so we went there. Did that it was great. It was a nice half hour, and then uh, we took off, and then went by uh, Gary's house and met his wife there and some right. friends of theirs. Right. And it was it was we got back here like ten something, ten thirty. Card game going on upstairs, hot and heavy card game. Right. And uh, by then things were really starting to wear on me by then. <laughs> I was really getting down, so I said, I'm going to conk out for a few hours. It seemed like five minutes. I don't know. I laid down there, and next thing you know, here, I come here you come in here. In the you know, get up! Get up! <laughs> you know, oh, no! Right. And then we wound up staying up until like five, 4.30 five, or five something. 5.30. Oh, 5.30. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we just talk. We we mess. We try to do everything. You know, we get yeah. talking and going on. Right. And so we up until 5:30, and then hey, we we were down until around 10 o'clock, 10:30 again this morning. Right. And uh, well, this has been a full day. Chatted for an hour until we we got conscious and reasonable, right. where they'd let us out on the streets without being arrested <laughs> for being uh, screwed up there. So anyway, so we um. And uh, then we went down to Corky, Corky and Lenny's again. Had some brunch. Had a brunch, had brunch. Yeah, we had brunch. Right. And then came back and has been shooting the tapes and uh, right. getting some dubbing done. And right. uh, Erica, we're doing the Superman tapes for you. Superman and two and four. Two and four. Right. And uh, they're looking real good. And uh, well, you know the rest. You've been watching it, uh, so that brings us right up till now. Right. And now let's talk about what, we're, what we plan to do tomorrow. Okay, you're, I'm going to let you do that because. Got you, you, you've got okay. it mapped out. Yeah. Well, I have to work tonight. It's Saturday night, and I cannot get out of work on both Saturday and Sunday. So I got tomorrow off, which is great. So I got to go to work about 4:30 tonight. Carrie's going to go over Gary's house to spend the evening more or less with Gary until he fades about 10 or 11 o'clock. Then I'll probably come back here and take another cat nap. Yeah, might as well. Might as well, because Mickey will be at work too. Yeah. And then I'm going to come home about 1:30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Wake you up. And we're going to start all over again. We're going to start all over again. We'll do some more dubbing till about 4 or 5. Tomorrow I'll sleep in till about maybe 11. 
maybe maybe 10. You want to get an early start again. We're going to go to downtown Cleveland. We're going to show this man right. a big, old, filthy city. We're going to show you Lake Erie, which you call a mistake okay. on the lake. That's the city. And we're going to do some a lot of video downtown. Okay. Then we're going to go over to my dad's house about 3 o'clock, meet right. my dad my stepmother. Then we're going to go to Corky's where Mickey works tomorrow for dinner. Right. And she's going to have a nice big Corky Lenny steak. Great. And then we're probably just going to come back here and finish up last minute dubbing or whatever, leave the, evening, the rest of the evening open. Right. And see what happens. Tomorrow night, or tomorrow is all free with you. So. Right, right. Tomorrow is going to be my full day off, which will be nice. So we won't be quite as pressed for time as we are today. It'll be your full day away from work, but you won't have it off. I can see. That's that. okay. It's my pleasure. Believe me, <laughs> this is a one once in a twenty year shot <laughs> having you up here. To believe it. Tomorrow will be the end of it. Monday morning, I'm going to get ready to leave. Already. Monday morning, we're going to take you as the last thing over to Viacom Cablevision right. and meet Carrie, whatever his last name is. Yeah. Who, yeah, who helped produce your nightlife show and put it on the air here many years ago on Viacom Cablevision, which is now just called Cablevision. So, so far you've gotten the, uh, the outside of the house on video. We got your car, my car, and you got my video room with your camera. You shot it this time. And uh, the dubbing rolls on. That's it. Here we go. Great. All righty. So I guess we'll go on to whatever our next adventure is going to be. Right. So here we go. See you later. See you later. Okay. We are here now the following day here at Ray's. Come over here, I want you to see something. One of my pet peeves, I love my car, but one of the pet peeves I've had is this hood ornament. This is a pre-Iacocca hood ornament that uh, Plymouth had at that time. It's the older one. This is one of the transition K cars, by the way. It's got a front-wheel drive four-cylinder, but it's based on the previous year's model. And for some reason, it's funny, inside the car they have the standard new style Pentagon hood ornament. But on the front, they have the old style one with this kind of a rocket ship with the outer form there. Well, Mr. Ray Glasser has come to my help here with this. Come on over here. Now this, just show the back of the car first. It's an Aries K, which is what, 1981? One, which is, I think, the same vintage as mine, 81 or 82, whatever. And she has an upscale model. <laughs> so this is Keiko's car. Coral. Coral. I'm, I'll get them right one of these days. And lo and behold, look what's on the front. There is the new emblem. Ah. Well, Mr. Ray Glasser has made a very generous offer to switch these uh, hood ornaments, which is what we're going to do right now. Are you ready, Carrie? We are ready. Here we go, the operation. This is like when we tried to modify your Betamax 10 years ago in Orlando, remember that? That's right. Yeah, that's right. We got that on tape, too. Look how convenient. Oh, wow. All you do is un just awesome. unscrew this whole thing, yeah. huh? Care. Yeah, that's it. It's too much of a challenge for me. Too much of a challenge for me. Okay. Look how clean the engine is. That's a Mitsubishi engine in there. Wow. Well, that's one. It's one. There. We got her off. Get a little close up of that. Yeah, there it is. Excellent. Excellent. All right. You can zoom back now. Okay. Let's go to Carrie's car. K car. Right. Carry car. Right. Well, you're the, what are you doing? Look at that. You have this cleaner, that's the way you got the cars. That's the way I got it. Lucky. I may have wiped off the top thing a little yeah. bit, but nothing to break. Okay. okay. Let me hold these pieces. Right. Same thing. Boy, this is really This is really what a, I love about these cars. Really a challenge. Everything is very accessible. Uh, very easy to get at. You might have to maybe do it from the side. Maybe. It might be a little tighter. Like this? No. Oh, battery's, battery's flickering. Battery's flickering already? Yep. It says battery? Yep. Do you have seven minutes on yours like I do? In the battery light yeah, section? Yeah, you got like yeah, seven minutes, right? But you know what I found? I got some glitches once in mine. 
Why can't I move yours? Pause the machine and we'll Go ahead and pause it, Gary. Push the button. You got a little tiny dot for a tally light. My, I got a big square in mine. I got a real big square. Okay, the second one is now coming off. I think. I just wish they would make these for guys that use their left eyes. The new ones do. Canon makes it switchable. Yeah. I find that putting... Oh, okay, yeah, I was going to say, putting your nose into the side there will... How's the camera smell? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Seriously. Now push the strobe button, it's going to record you doing this in strobe, right? <laughs> Might be funny <laughs> for an effect. Oh, huh, that's a long way down. Yeah, right. Second one's coming off. There we go. I can remember how that goes in. This is the classic design. This is not going to go in Coral's car. Okay. Okay, and there's your new one. You know what? Just for the hell, let's show them both together side by side because you'll, you'll never see this again. No. Nope. Here, you're the Chrysler man. You hold them. Okay. There you go. There is the similar but yeah, yet different right. design. <laughs> so, some creative artist somewhere. Yeah those, yeah, those are exactly they're both off the car. See, yep, see yeah. the design of them there. So, see, while they're both off the cars, what the hell? Put the right one back, yeah, oh, yeah. Put the right one in. What's SSP? That's uh, a Super VHS and SP. Standard SP play. is a speed. Right. He's rolling. Alrighty. Hey, we're done. Got one on. Got it. Okay. That one. That's the other one. Can you close your hood and show the new look of the KKD mobile? Oh, boy, this makes me very, very happy. I'm glad. There. We got a new Chrysler. <laughs> All right. Okay, boy, do I like set. that. All right. I'm glad you're uh, set. Put the other one back on your car. And Great. We are ready to go. Nice. Hey, look where I'm parked. Hey, 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 look who is here. And uh, boy, I, I, oh, there we go. It's Mr. Kerry Decker in front of the Ray Glasser garage. Look at this. Ooh, look at this. There's Kerry. And there's Kerry's Reliant sitting in the Revo garage next to the Revmobile. Well, your autofocus is going crazy. Focusing, defocusing, and everything. There's Mr. Gary Herman in his it's summer being his summer nearly lights. accurate. Yeah, that's why everything's out of focus, because it's accurate. Yeah, it's not out of I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Where is the, the autofocus here? Yeah, it's a this, this is on or off? No, you're, still, you're on auto. There you go. Thank you. Anyway, here's Carrie's car. I'm on auto right now? Nope. But I'm on manual. Okay, that's what I want. Here he is, sitting next to mine in the Revo garage. So, Carrie, it's now about 1 o'clock on Sunday. How's your little 89 vacation so far? Hey, it's great. Yeah. We've got a full day. And I can't believe it, but tomorrow I'm leaving already. That's right. Jeez. That's right. I can't believe that. That's right. Well, let's go to downtown Cleveland and shoot some footage. I am ready. Here we go. On the way to downtown Cleveland, I don't believe you're shooting me in the car. Ray Glasser, Gary Herman, and Mr. Kerry Decker doing the camera work as we make our way to the mistake on the lake known as Cleveland, Ohio. Huh? Hey, there you go. Back. How did it? Swing around this way, Gary. Right, here's here's this is Lake Erie? This, yeah, this is the beginning of it right there. Oh. That's Lake Erie, largest of the five Great Lakes. We'll come back again in a second. There you go. Nice water. Yeah. Yeah. That's going on. Now swing to your left, Kerry, and you'll see downtown Cleveland skyline through the haze as it comes into view. Yep. This is an old, filthy city. <laughs> so don't expect a nice, clean, southern uh, Florida-type town here. You're not going to get it. Uh, it's industrial, so it's what it used to be. 
I'm the fifth largest city in America. Now we're down in the, like the mid 20s or so. Mm. The 22nd largest city in America. Prototype roads up here. This is my winter leaves us. There's something else, yeah. Something else is going up here too. That's, that was a holiday in I shot that picture out last year, Carrie. Obviously. Yeah. And what's this, uh, the stadium? Cleveland Stadium, home of the Browns and the Indians. Let's see where we can put it. Right. It's down the left. Oh. Now, where do I park? Well, just stay straight. Yeah. There's a movie parking right away. Okay, you are in downtown Cleveland, Mr. Decker. We are here in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> On August 27th of 89, Carrie's first trip to a big northern industrial town, right? And, uh, yeah, okay. Cleveland Convention Center. It's getting on this side. Oh, I think, what are they doing here? They're not, they, they took away something here. Well, there's nothing. They're moving. The, they're going to be building something here. I don't know. I have no idea what. Oh, all this parking is gone. <gasps> oh. Society Center is going yeah, there. Yeah, Society okay. Center. Oh, big complex. Oh, look man. at this. Well, Ray, get in the right lane. and you got to go back. Okay, You're yeah. You're not going to find any. Here at Galleria. Found our downtown parking place without too much trouble. Didn't we? Hi there. <laughs> There's Gary down Let's there. Let's go and eat something. Hey, that's right. We <laughs> there, are, there are a zillion restaurants in here. Sure, I was going to get heavy. Though. Seventy-six degrees. What? Six degrees. Now we are inside the area. Walking a little bit ahead of us. <laughs> Here's the Revo. I can't believe this. You're on. Oh, yeah. Hey, I left my still camera in the car. I can't believe this. This is Soldiers and Sailors Monument. Oh, no. Oh. Do a vertical. There you go. And. Oh, I didn't know you wanted me in it. I'm moving out of the way, so. I get this any time. Oh, okay. Boy, still pictures and everything. Oh, anyway, uh, this is downtown Cleveland, center of Cleveland. Public Square. Public Square, wow. You're getting the BP building behind you. Oh, yeah. Wow. And this other building behind it. That's the terminal, that's the next. Terminal that's wow. next. But one time the biggest building in the city. And this is the terminal building. And I do not know if the observation deck is open. One way to find out. That is an old tall building. 
I got the antennas up there. Microwave stuff, keys. You don't want to be up there in the winter time when the winds are out. Imagine not. This is what, the old railroad terminal? Yeah. Yeah, underneath. Yeah, now this now the uh, the rapid transit goes below. Uh-huh. Well, here we are. We certainly are enjoying this. Oh, you're going to have to get the steam coming out of the manhole. That's... And the battery light's flashing, believe it or not. we got about 10 minutes out of this battery. That's it. Okay. This is something I haven't seen since the days in New York. That's right. It has this type of stuff. Okay. There we go. Looking down, you can... Well, here we are. Up about 42 stories. Overlooking Cleveland. And man, is this way up in the air. It's unbelievable. Overlooking the city. This is the British Petroleum Building here. We'll get a better look at it in a sec. Okay, there's a better view of it. Lake Erie towards Canada. Do you see the public square? Do you see the square still? No furry guys over here. Where are we going? We're coming into Cleveland. Ooh, look at that view. From the west side of town. It's about uh, 4 or 11 now in the afternoon on the same day. And you're going to be seeing my fair city from the west side, which gives you a really good view coming into town. Steel pit. That was it. Oh, well. Yep. Okay. That's when these bridges start rolling. So you get some really spectacular shots of the city. We were there. Yeah, that's right. Way up on the top Way of that up. building. Yeah. Right there. there you go. Here's your shots. Downtown. It's Super VHS. Station sure got quite a sign right there. Yeah, it's one of the top stations in the country. Is it? Ask Art Volo, he knows. That was yeah, it. Yeah, we're, that... we're coming in the infamous Dead Man's Curve, Kerry. Oh, we're going to be on the Dead Man's on Curve? On Dead Man's yes. Curve, yes. Oh, we want to get wow. this on tape. Yeah. That was downtown Cleveland, folks. And now we're going to go Dead Man's Curve and head out to the west side well, and back home. where I worked. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm going to show in front of the building. Yeah, it's all I get to show. They got another one of those big signs up there with a the big arrow and... They have things that stop your car on the road. I hate them. Oh, they're little bump things. Yeah. Here we go. It's one of the signs. Okay, yep, I see it. This Flashing our, lights and everything. This is our infamous Dead Man's Curve. Plenty of people have lost in here. 
Pearl took us very well the other day. I was very surprised. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's the way she tries. That is a right angle turn of all right angle turns. They mean it, huh? They're not I mean, exaggerating. It's a, at least one truck a week, at least, is, uh, <laughs> loses it. Has, has wiped out here. Has wiped out here. Yeah. They don't believe the sign. When they tell you to go 35, but many truckers end up going 55. I was going to say, they don't mean 45 or 55, do they? Now we'll start hearing the sound. Uh, yeah. Hate the these things. This is what you hear before the crash. Huh? There's right. blinkers ah. here. Yes. It's hopefully will wake you up and pull something. Because <laughs> you tighten they the jump it. out the side. We're just taking the left lane, too. I mean, this is... We're about, at, a four, at about 42 miles an hour. Can you see this in a winter time? Now keep it going. Keep the camera rolling, oh, yeah. rolling because you'll get the good shot of the lake here in a second. No, I won't see much more. Okay. Oh, farther up you go. Yeah, it's a pestis concrete barrier. Okay. okay, that was the infamous Dead Man's Curve. Dead Man's Curve. <laughs> and there is the infamous Lake Erie out oh, there. Yeah, that's, that's you can see it too well. You're too far yeah. away from it. Yeah. Where are we off to next, Ray? We're going over to my dad's house next to meet my dad and my stepmother. And then we're going to be pick up with, uh, hook up with Chris at my house. Go to Blockbuster Video and White Castle. All right. Then we're going to do some real dinner at Quirky Lenny's after that. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. There's about to meet Chris Pearson for the first time. You know, I feel good. I feel good. Now you Relaxed, feel good. Relaxed. Totally refreshed. Okay, here we go. There's Christopher. We are going to get this historic meeting on tape. Oh, hey, oh, Jerry. She, she went down. Well, he, and here we, we are. Good to, see good to see you. Finally. Finally, Ten after years. many years. They well, finally meet. <laughs> Excuse me. Go ahead. Gary with Brew. What do you expect? Well. What do you expect? Now you've met. That's the, it. With the left of the VCO. <laughs> you've met yeah, all of us now. That's right. Everybody. That's right. Great.